Yeah, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Jesus Christ, someone's hanging. You know, that game? Yeah, that's what I want. Mean. I should be cautious around here.
Okay. How far is away? Not even. I'm just gonna need five minutes. Give me another portion of I this. seek the master brewer, Hakuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the scarab, the shadow that darkens size. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows the people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. Master Tahaka's wife is so kind. There are many terrible stories about the scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate, trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun, waiting for the final release into the duat. But these are only stories. There are real villains in size, but the scarab if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. The investigations of Harkov's agents. The last man who asked questions about the scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. <clears throat> who was he? Paul Cooper, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Kahaka. That boy, Kawab, is his grandson. Hey, you tired of winning? I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No. He left on the road to Campiros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. What? 
We'll get you out. I think you will survive. I know the Scarab took your tongue, but we can help each other. Makuf told me that you are investigating the Scarab. Help me, and I can ensure he dies. Banged up, bruised, and thirsty. The soldiers did not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where's your father, Kawa? We must speak of this. Father is away, on his great work. Mother! Grandfather is hurt. Soldiers mistook him for a beggar again. Father! What have you done this time? He was searching for this scarab. I hope he can help me. And in return, can protect your family. The scarab is nonsense. Everyone knows this. He wants you to read them. Uh, it looks like the scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods! That is where my husband is. But the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband Tahaka has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. <laughs> yeah, of course I will go up.
time. Oh, how? Yeah, let's... I got another 15 minutes here. The wind rises. And the sand with it. Master Tahaka, my name is Bayek from Siwa. I am indeed Tahaka, Grand Planner of Sais and Steward of Latopolis. I met your family. Your wife sent me here. She said you might know about the one called the Scarab. This is not the place to speak, for who knows who may overhear our words. Come inside and I will answer you. She's... you run running. Your son is very proud of your work. He misses you. You'll be here soon. I dream of my son and his sons following in my steps. The world is made by great men dreaming big. What do you dream of, Bayek? I do not have the luxury of dreams. Just finding the scarab. The scarab preys upon the weak. He is no threat to me. Are you not afraid of the scarab, Tahaka? It seems after what he did to your father-in-law. What happens to poor Gupa tears me. Whatever my life's work, whatsoever I did to bring that down upon him, I beg the gods forgive me. Master Tahaka! They're attacking the ruins again. Bayek, come fight with me. The wind is picking up. Not good. That killing is the voice of the reset you. The desert dogs use the storm as a rallying cry. These reavers use the sandstorm to mask their raids. Stay close to me! Do not let these curse surround you! I will not let you destroy my great fire! Over here! Rag of naked yet has back! They pour out of the storm! Stop over here! These three will fly on the wings of the storm! of Egypt. Rise up and defend your homes! 
upon them like Sobek's did. Bayek, ride with us. These desert dogs have crossed me for the last time. And with your fierce iron, I know we can end their threat. I understand your thirst for blood, Tahaka. But these bandits are not my concern. Tell me about this scarab before you ride. Is that not the badge of a Magi that you wear? These reavers are a threat to the good and innocent people of Latopolis. Come with me, Bayek. And once we have returned these curs to the desert they so love, then I will tell you the story you want to hear. All right. I will join your course for today. and join us brave loyal servants of Latopolis we will root these rivers out of their holes and spill their blood on the sand <laughs> this task you have put yourself to it seems impossible <laughs> Only the gods can know that for sure, Bayek. And if I do not reach for the stars, how will I know how close I can get? Metropolis was a wonder once, before the desert overtook it. I mean to show the world, to show the gods, that men can conquer anything if they put their minds to it. Perhaps you have been sent by the gods to help me realize my vision. A strong arm, a keen eye. We could restore this land to glory. I have my own great work ahead of me. <laughs> we shall see if I cannot convince you. Wish for more
Sounds like a few bandits are roosting up top. My thanks to you, Bayek. Before you arrived, I thought my dream was doomed to die. You gave me the strength to hunt down these reavers. Who are they? Blood-fevered followers of Sekhmet, the Lady of Slaughter. They wish nothing more than chaos and ruin. Are they connected to this garab? <laughs> no. They think themselves lions, but they are no more than carrion eaters. And now they will feed the scavengers. I will bring this priest back to the city. Meet me at my house. We will dine, and I will tell you what you need to know. May Ta bless you and the protect you. Oh, because I accidentally discovered this place somehow. There's actually nothing here for me yet. Yeah, I didn't mean to discover that place. I think it automatically made me during that mission. I think I probably ran through it. You made it safely, Maharat. <laughs> yes, the gods blessed our passage. We saw vultures and a hyena and so much sand. <laughs> Enough sand to fill a lifetime. That is why we need so many to help us with our great work. And what do you promise them, Tahaka? A parcel of land with a house to call their own. They must only help reclaim it from the desert. That is all? Just dig up your house. It is no simple task. We must all pitch in to honor the gods. People know his vision is a true one. It is good to honor your father, Kawa. The savior of Latopolis. Mm. Let us have some honey dates now. And are you all right, Bayer? Senu, 
Aya, where are you, my love? Remo, I am failing you. Please, don't hate me. Soon, I will walk the outer darkness with the Hidden One, leading me into the field of Ritz. Oh, yeah, in a sec. May the gods smile upon you. Stripped of armor, weapons, and coin. Where to begin? Now, to hurry before the wind erases the tracks. First my steel, then the scarab. should have stayed in the shadows. Dream 